Amen. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe tena. I'm happy to be here today. Nashukuru Mungu. Amen. Last Sunday sikuwa pamoja na nyinyi. Nilisafiri. Amen. Lakini nimerudi. But I thank God the journey was good. Tulisafiri tukiwa wazima tukarudi wazima. Amen. Hiyo ni neema ya Mungu. Amen. Unaweza keti. Unaweza keti. Tunapoangalia kalenda zetu tuko msimu wa kusherehekea pasaka, si ndio? Whenever as a Christian unaposikia ni msimu wa pasaka, what comes in your mind? <laughs> Moja ananiambia anaenda ushago. Yes, ni kweli. Sababu hata mimi naweza nikaenda ushango. Amen. But, I, but as a Christian unaposikia tuko msimu wa pasaka unafikirianga nini? Ehe. Our brother hapa anasema yeye yeah, anakumbukanga kufa na kufufuka kwa Yesu. A good answer mwingine. Hello, hapa tunasoma. Leo mimi ni mwalimu, we ni mwanafunzi na pia mimi ni mwanafunzi. So sisi wote hapa tunaso. Ehe. Yes, another good answer is the high time of repenting and washing our sins. Amen. Okay. Now, whenever you hear uh, this thing, unaposikia ili jambo about Easter, Pasaka, Iyo ukuwa ni wakati ambao tunajikumbusha what our Messiah went through. Amen. Because now, when we get back to the life of Jesus, Yesu akalizaliwa kama mtoto mdogo. Akaishi maisha ubinadamu. Amen. But the people he was living with, awakuwa na muamini, and they never accepted that he is the Messiah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. And the reason as to why they didn't accept that thing is because alizaliwa kama mwanadamu kama wao. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. But there was an Indian thing than ya Yesu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ile tu ni wachache waliona, sio watu wote. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. And that is why Jesus alika maisha ya ubinadamu lakini yakiwa na utofauti sana na mtu wa kawaida Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana Na ndio maana ukisoma maandiko ukifuatia what he did mpaka pati yake ya mwisho pale wakati alikamatwa ndio apate kuuliwa Now after kumkamata bado Awakufunguka macho Bwana Yesu asifiwe They persecuted him Wakaenda wakamhukumu wakamfanyia iki awampati na makosa Bwana Yesu asifiwe lakini wakasingizia Hello wakasingizia wakasema a a Hata kama ni nani Hata kama hata kama na makosa Juu sasa hawa walikuwa wakuu Lazima Yesu wakasema lazima Yesu afanyiwe nini? Lazima Yesu aingie kwa msalabani. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Remember walimfanyia kila kitu wakafuata utaratibu wa sheria. They never found Jesus guilt. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ni kwa sababu yangu na wewe ndio tupate kuokolewa. Amen. We are living for the grace that Jesus shown unto us alipokubali Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana Angalika ta labda saa hii maisha yangekuwa tofauti na vile tulip, tuliko wa sasa Amen Lakini alikubali ndio maisha ya ya mwanadamu yakawe jinsi tulivyo siku wa leo Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana Ukisoma maandiko 
tulikubali na kuna wale wengine wako ngambo ile ingine bado hawajakubali bwana yesu asifiwe sana that is why today we stand with the word bwana yesu asifiwe sana that is why today tunakaa kwa neno bwana yesu asifiwe lakini wale wengine waliokataa wao walitambui neno ukisoma wa korinzo wa kwanza chapter 1 verse 18 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 18 the word of the Lord says for the word of the cross is folly to those who are perishing but to us who are being saved it is the power of God Amen Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana Nimesema kwa sisi wa Kristo tuliokubali na tukakubali ili neno kwetu kwetu ni nguvu za Mungu Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana but to those waliopotea those who are lost ni wagani yeah those people who don't believe god amen wasio mwamini mungu they are the lost people and they they when they hear the word of god it sounds different to them bwana yesu asifiwe sana amen but to us wenye hambao tuliokolewa kwa nehema and to those that tunalia tunauamini msalaba tukisikia neno bwana yesu asifiwe sana tukilisikia neno lake mwenyezi Mungu linakuwa ni kama nguvu zake kwetu amen and that is why we live by this word amen wakati Yesu alikufa pale msalabani ama wakati aliyopa pale msalabani kuna vitu zile mimi na wewe zinatufanyikia kitu ya kwanza he provides a bridge to us bwana Yesu asifiwe sana a way to god yani anafanyika kama daraja kwetu njia ya kwenda kwa, kwa baba bwana yesu asifiwe sana unaweza ukasoma yohana 14 mstari wa sita. jesus answered him i am the way the truth and the life no one goes to the father except by me bwana yesu asifiwe sana it provides so when when you believe in jesus when you keep your trust in jesus anakufanyia jia anakuwa yeye ni kama daranja ndio uvuke kwa baba ufike kwa baba lazima upitie kwa, kwa Yesu mwenyewe Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana ndio maana anatuambia yeye ndiye njia kweli na uzima na hakuna ajaye kwa baba ila kwa njia yangu mimi Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana you can go wherever you want to go unaweza enda mahali popote You can live a Christian life. Unaweza kama maisha umeokoka. Amen. But if you don't recognize Jesus in your life, all that all that will be in vain. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. So, for you to see God, you have to recognize the Son. Who is Jesus Christ? Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Sababu yeye ndiye njia hata ukienda wapi hakuna mwingine atakuwa jia kwako kwa. bwana yesu asifiwe sana only jesus is the way bwana yesu asifiwe sana he gives you opportunity for the forgiveness of sins bwana yesu asifiwe sana anakupa ile nafasi ya kusamehewa dhambi na makosa bwana yesu asifiwe sana usipopita kwa yesu Yesu amekuambia yeye ndiye njia uzima. Hakuna ajaye kwa baba bila kwangu. Yesu yeye mwenyewe pia ndiye atakupea kibali ama nafasi ya kusamehewa dhambi na baba. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Sio mimi, sio mchungaji atakufanyia hivyo. Yesu mwenyewe pekee ukishamkiri anakupa opportunity. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Na kisha kupa opportunity tayari ukishasamewa dhambi basi wewe ni wa baba. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Ephesians 1 verse 7 inasema hivi. For by the blood of Christ we are set free. That is our sins are forgiven. How great is the grace of God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Uh, another version inasema hivi. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins in accordance with the riches of God's grace Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana So kupitia kwa Yesu tumnapata nini Tunapata msamaha wa dhambi Ah 
when you believe in Jesus, he provides freedom to all that believe in him. Anakupa uhuru wa kila kitu. Amen. That's why in the in the book of John 8:36 in Asema. So if the Son sets you free, you will be free indeed. No bondage will bind you. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Nothing will be impossible before you. Why? Because you have the Son with you. Sometimes me and you there are times when we, 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 we get somewhere and then we start thinking I want to put it in another way. In the story of uh, Lazarus ukisoma maandiko utapata wakati Lazarus amekuwa mgonjwa. Maandiko inasema na Lazarus alikuwa rafiki wa Yesu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. So the family of Lazarus na Yesu walikuwa friends. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So it happened when we, eh, wakati Lazaro aligojeka Mary and Martha the sisters of Lazarus walituma ujumbe kwa Yesu Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana Na walipotuma ujumbe kwa Yesu walituma ujumbe wakisema Yesu rafiki yako unayempenda ni mngojwa sana The more they were are dispatching for Jesus to come soonest the more Jesus na yeye aliamua wacha nichelewe kidogo Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana na ukisoma maandiko utaona vile Lazaro alikufa after Lazaro amekufa Yesu bado hajafika Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana ikatangazwa Lazaro akazikwa Yesu bado hajafika Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana and then after three days kutoka Lazaro azikwe ndio Yesu akakuja. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So some people who are just around there wal, when you walikuwa wanapelekea ma, eh, Maria na, na, na Martha Faraja wakaona gobadi wakaona Yesu ndio yule. Wakakimbilia Maria wakamwambia Yesu ndio yule anakuja. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Instead of Maria no no wing that eh. Yesu anakuja anaweza fufua Lazaro alienda na Coplins. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. How many times me and you wakati unapitia changamoto in stand ya kuiandress na ile motive ya iki ni kitu kinapita we start complaining. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So me, ma, Maria didn't this alienda akamwambia ingekuulifika ule wakati tulitumana ndugu yetu angekufa oh sijui tumemaliza siku ngapi tumemzika bado hujafika you see those complaints na Yesu na yeye sababu ali, al, alikuwa tayari ana, ana, anaangalia mioyo yao they are not okay wamekaa na yeye but they have not recognized him na wajui kama yeye ndio ufufuo instead ya wao kujua yes tunaona yesu yako hapa so our brother may, may rise up again eh may rise up again wao wanaanza kumwambia vitu ambazo lalama lalama tu za kawaida bwana yesu asifiwe sana maria akatoka akaenda kwa mother kaenda akakoroga madha naye madha lipotoka kukuja akakuja the same same thing wameishi na yeye lakini bado hawajamtambua wameishi na Yesu lakini hawajatambua kazi za ye kazi za Yesu wamekula pamoja Maria amempanguza Yesu miguu na mafuta ya bei lakini bado hawajachua zile kazi Yesu anaweza fanya katika maisha ya mwanadamu Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana you know let me tell you my, breth my, my brethren when you face some challenges in, in life don't undress how big they are bwana yesu asifiwe sana when you see something is taking you somewhere usijaribu kupea nafasi sababu uko na uhuru bwana yesu asifiwe sana you have the freedom to direct it the way you want to be bwana yesu asifiwe sana 
wewe uko na uhuru wa kuiambia a hata kama umekuja hivi lazima twende kibanda hii bwana yesu asifiwe sana why because you have the freedom uko na ule uhuru bwana yesu asifiwe sana when we are in line with jesus christ when we trust in the lord when we keep our faith in jesus who died on cross for our sins anatupea another point anatupea maisha mapya bwana yesu asifiwe sana jesus gives us a new life bwana yesu asifiwe sana the power of cross inatupea nguvu mpya bwana yesu asifiwe sana eh, bible inasema hivi wa korinto wa pili 5:17 Anyone who is joined to Christ is a new being. The old is gone, the new has come. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Another version inasema hivi. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away, and behold, the new has come. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. So, unapo unapoamini nguvu za msalaba zinakupa maisha mapya Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana na unapokuwa ndani ya Kristo unafanyika kuwa kiumbe kipya Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana So whenever you choose to be in Christ Jesus you have to be new Ule Francis mzee unaondoka Bwana Yesu asifiwe and then you be made another new creation unapofanyika kuwa kiumbe kipya mambo mapya yanafanyika ndani ya maisha yako the power of, cro- of the cross gives us power to live today bwana yesu asifiwe sana but when the holy spirit comes upon you you will be filled with power and will be the witness for me in jerusalem in all judea and samaria and to the ends of the earth. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Another version here inasema hivi, but you will receive when the Holy Spirit has come upon you and you will be my witness in in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. So, when the power of cross it's upon you inakupa neema ama nguvu ya kuishi leo bwana yesu asifiwe sana and not only to live you will live proclaiming the name of god sio hapa kwetu sio kule umetoka but wherever you, you will go utatamuka neno it provides victory over the enemy wakati shetani anakujia sababu uko na ile neema kutoka kwa msalaba itakupa kibali ama itakupa ushindi juu ya adui bwana Yesu asifiwe Acts 17:28 nasema hivi as someone said in him we live and move and exist it is as some of you poets have said we too are his children bwana Yesu asifiwe yani we are like him another verse uh, in the book of first corinthians 1557 but thanks to god who gives us the victory through our lord jesus christ in jesus christ we have victory over everything because on the cross of calvary alisema nini it is over bwana yesu asifiwe so when we keep our trust in god when we believe in our uh, in jesus tuna ushindi juu ya kila kitu bwana yesu asifiwe sana So it's high time for you and me to keep our trust in Jesus. Tunaposherekea eh huu msimu wa Pasaka mwaka huu. Wacha na tukaweke imani yetu kwa Kristo. Isikuwe tu ni bure, isikuwe tu ni kusherekea. Ah, let us try to transform in our lives. The power of the cross provides for us a eternal heavenly home. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Hapa tuko duniani sisi ni wapitaji. Makao yetu yako wapi? yako juu kwa baba tunayapokea kupitia kwa msalaba Yesu akasema mimi ndio njia kweli na uzima hakuna hajae 
kwa baba ila kwangu mimi so through Christ Jesus we possess eternal heavenly home bwana yesu asifiwe sana na ndio tukaambiwa katika kitabu cha Joana mlango wa kwanza mstari wa 12 inasema this earth is only our temporary home you can be assured of heavenly citizenship so ndugu yangu mpendo unapoishi tafakari ishi chini ya neema ishi chini ya nguvu ya msalaba bwana yesu asifiwe sana as we remind ourselves during this period let us humble ourselves tujinyanyakeshe tu ili kwamba tukapokee neema ya Kristo bwana yesu asifiwe sana ili kwamba tukapokee kibali cha Yesu Kristo yes 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 natumai natumai ume, umesoma kitu leo bwana yesu asifiwe sana so nimesema hivi the power of the cross nguvu ya msalaba inatu, inatufanyia ndaranja ambayo ndio njia kwa baba bwana yesu asifiwe sana kwa hivyo unapomwamini Kristo basi atakufanyia ndaranja na utakuwa rahisi kufika kwa baba Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana nikasema eh, it provides opportunity for the forgiveness of sins when you uh, when you believe in uh, in, Jesus, uh, in Christ Jesus anakupea nafasi ya kusamehewa dhambi Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana nikarudi nikakwambia it provides freedom to all those who believe yani inatupa uhuru kwa wote wale ambao sisi tunaamini nguvu ya msalaba bwana yesu asifiwe sana alafu nikarudi nikakwambia it, it provides a new life yani nguvu ya msalaba inakupa maisha mapya ndani ya kristo bwana yesu asifiwe sana nikarudi nikakwambia it gives us power to live today bwana yesu asifiwe inatupa neema ya kuishi mara tena na kuishi leo bwana yesu asifiwe na nikarudi nikakwambia the power of the cross provides victory over the enemy inatupa ushindi juu ya nini juu ya antui bwana yesu asifiwe na ya mwisho nikakwambia the power of the cross provides for us eternal heavenly home bwana yesu asifiwe sana it provides what etano heavenly home bwana yesu nikakwambia hapa bwana yesu asifiwe sana nikakwambia hapa jiani sisi ni nini sisi ni wapitaji bwana yesu asifiwe sana wacheni bwana akatubariki na mwenyezi Mungu atusaidie sana bwana yesu asifiwe sana tusimame wote juu somo ndo hilo nimeleta kwako limepita kwangu limepita kwako sija juu umeshika pointi gani katika somo la leo sija jua umesikia nini kikakunguza katika somo la leo may the holy spirit minister in your life wacha roho mtakatifu aka kuzungumzia zaidi bwana Yesu asifiwe sana na wacha tunaposherehekea msimu wa pasaka nguvu ya msalaba ikawe sehemu yangu na ikawe sehemu yako bwana Yesu asifiwe wacha tushukuru our heavenly father i bow before your presence this morning I want to thank you Lord for your favor for your power. Ninakushukuru Bwana kwa uaminifu wako katika maisha yetu. Bwana wa mabwana umetuwezesha tukaingia katika nyumba yako asubuhi njema. Na baba wa mbinguni tukashiriki neno ambalo umenipea Bwana kulizungumzia wapendwa hawa. Yesu fanme nimetumika kama chombo. Nimeachilia neno lako ulivyo niongoza Roho Mtakatifu. Ninaomba ukafuatilie neno lako. 
Wacha mfano wa mfano ya mapenzi yako yakatendeke kwetu. Baba wa mbinguni tunapoendelea na siku tuone waminifu wako. Ni neno lako baba lisipite bure likainue mtu na likanjenge mtu. Tupe neema ya ku embrace the power of the cross during this festive season oh my god. May you stand in our midst amba father. May you Lord minister in our lives as we go through the the, the, the festive season. May we see you Lord and may we witness you are different in our lives from today. Asante Yesu kwa maana utatutendea na asante Bwana kwa maana utatunenea. Asante kwa roho yako mtakatifu ambaye amezungumza nasi. Fuatilia neno lako na ukatuinue. Na ni kwa Yesu Kristo nimeomba na atakuamini. Amen. May God bless you.